Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Vagris the Riven Realms. We're about to head out uh, back into the desert to head back to Torzag's shelter, and then we're going to try and help our buddy Renkylon with this mission to find the tunnels. It says it's a quite a wide area. It says 28 nodes in the area. Maybe we can use our our scouts for that. But let's boost our movement. Let's get on the road. We have eight days of supplies. We should be able to get to Torres Egg Shelter, no problem. Something we could do... I think we have enough... Oh, no, we don't. Okay, we're one insight short of being able to up upgrade Ren Kylon. So let's have a sleep in the day. Keep on trucking, team. Yes. We do have $12. In some sense. You guys aren't even close to being needing payment. Y'all need to chill. Movement again. That was a good one. We got four extra movement out of that. And then rest and probably two days out from Torres Eggs at this point. Oh, it's just a different Komitatis. I was like, who are these people? Who's this lady? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? There's so many scary people there. Move on. We're not fighting those dudes. All right, rest outside the city walls. And then in we go. Easy journey. Approach the guards, do all the business. All right, now we will sell our stuff. Lots of money for crystals. So all that stuff. All right. So we need to take Ren Kylon out into the desert. How far away is this? Five to seven days. And it's like right in between Torres Eggs and the Crimson Gate. And I honestly can't imagine it would be very easy to get through the Wind Belt anyway. So I'm kind of thinking five to seven, turn around five to seven. So we should plan on 14 which is going to be a lot of supplies. Like, our whole inventory's worth. <laughs> Alright, and then... What do you guys have for armor? Do you have any arms? No. We might have to, like, search, seek out weapons on our own. So we can boost our combat ability. Let's see... We can't really do anything with faction offers. This is all contraband anyway. I guess just the... Just those are. Okay. Metal from the east, Avernum is just too far away. While Avernum is considered to be the main source of metal in the Northern Empire, with all the scrappers ringing their halls to smelt in the city, in reality most shipments of ore arrive at Torzegs from the Mine of Plenty. I already kind of knew that. That was a weird rumor. It wasn't even really a rumor, it was just like a fact. <laughs> um, Let's see, how are we doing on, on dudes? Butcher the, the horse, don't do that. All right, we have, let's get one more stack of supplies just to be safe. Now we have 17. I think I'm ready to do this. We will head head out. We've already paid you guys. Don't you dare try to, try to hassle me. Okay, so what we want to do, I think, is go north and then follow the wind belt east. So along the road... I'm hoping this is not just a nightmare. Oh right, we should pay our guys. I put it off. All right, we've we've reached the self-imposed silver a uh, seven silver limit. Silver limit. All right. Okay. I'm thinking we go here, or maybe we go here. 
Because this looks like the, the, the edge of the mountains there. So, I take that back. Let's rest. Now boost our movement, and then we will go here. Oh, you caught me on the road. I was just about to leave it. I'm like, jump into the ditch, men. They'll never find us in there. What the heck? <laughs> I wasn't counting on an encounter. <coughs> Excuse me. As the Komitatus meanders through the drab green plains of Hargod Tool, you spy a large group of dry, leafless bushes not too far away. You don't even need your lookouts to spot the shadowy figures huddled behind him. They're obviously trying to hide whoever they may be, but they are not particularly good at it. Still, apart from their ridiculous incompetence, there's something that strikes you as odd. Try to assess the situation. We have a very high chance of success. We've done it. You realize what puzzled you. They are way too deep in the hollow plain, and these fellows are too few in number to simply to be simply outlaws waiting for the occasional merchant or comitatus to come this way. Which means there must be some hideout nearby, and these are just scouts, not a war party. The only site you can think of are the ruins of Fort Larius, which is rumored to be frequently used by large groups of criminals as a base of operations. You might want to tread carefully here. How do you approach them? Call them out. Rats. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Is there a way for me to... I think I can... Uh, it sucks that we only have two because we easily could have... <laughs> we, we could have done it with four scouts for one short of both. We could have easily had another outrider because we just have two horses just like standing around. You clear your, sh your throat, then shout. We can see you. Come out and hold your weapons over your heads while you're at it. Then drop them before your feet where we can see them. There's a moment of noticeably baffled silence, and then a wave of panic motion sweeps through the bushes. Three cloaked figures jump to their feet. There's sharp whistle, and suddenly, just as many Ifriani emerge from under the camouflage blankets they've been hiding under. In an instant, their riders are upon their backs and speed away in a frenzy. It's apparent they don't want to talk, but then again, they don't want to fight either. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't have the people necessary to, to take them out. That, or, or at least continue the pursuit. That would have been interesting. Onward. Into the, into the desert we go. We'll have to see if we can boost our vigor some other way. It's tricky trying to navigate in here. This area got green. Oh! Renkylon finds you and confines, confides that this is the area where, according to Prince Lakor, the Verukai dug their way up to the surface. You stop the Komitatus and ask the Dark Elf what you are supposed to do next. He tells you that he has to scout the gateway into Everdark. Search the area. Your scouts swarm out to comb your surroundings while you wait. We don't have a looking glass. Dang it. Quite a lot of time passes before they return. One after the other, they report that despite their best efforts, they could not locate anything among the hills that so much as resembles some kind of entrance leading underground. There's no point in starting another search. Perhaps tomorrow. We lose all our movement, but that's fine. We're out here anyway. Uh, We're just on the edge. So maybe if we move... A little further in? Or this way? Ren Kylon, I was hoping you would you would do something again. <laughs> do we have to go back to where we were? Okay. Oh wait, no, they want they just want payment. Oh, okay. So we shouldn't leave this place. Search the area. Let's boost it with our our resourcefulness. We've done it! A quarter of an hour passes before the scouting party returns. When it does, one of your scouts reports that they have stumbled upon a dark opening hidden by thorny briars, which seems to lead into some sort of underground cavern. Good, says Renkylon. From now on, this is my job. Let me descend there on my own. I'll be back in two hours or so. Let Renkylon do what he does best, offer to accompany him, insisting that it is too dangerous to go alone. I don't think we should let him go on his own. I'm touched. 
The Dark Elf replies with a crooked smile. Well, all right. But no, this is a task that requires finesse and stealth. I'll be better off on my own without anyone else to weigh me down. Much better indeed. But I appreciate the concern. I really do. All right. Uh, I told you! <laughs> Ren Kylon disappears into the hills, silent as a ghost. Having nothing better to do for the time being, you order your crew to set up a provisional camp, ready to be disassembled at a moment's notice. Time crawls slowly, the idleness is monotonous. Eventually the sun creeps lower on the mist-shrouded horizon, and there's still no sound sign of Ren Kylon. Two hours, the Dark Elf said. As far as you estimate, his return is long overdue. There's something wrong, and that means it's time for you to make a decision. Abandon Renkylon or mount a rescue operation? We must save our friend. Leave no one behind seems to be a good motto to go by in the unforgiving wastelands, one that is at least appreciated by your crew. You're greeted by cheers and approving looks as you assemble a team to go look for the wayward Dark Elf Scout. People in general have a tendency to like knowing their leader cares for their well-being. You take care not to let to select too many Komis for the mission at hand, for like Ren Kailan said before his departure, this task requires finesse and stealth. The fewer the companions, the less the noise, and fewer opportunities to be detected. At least one companion. <laughs> as soon as you are done assembling your party, you set off into the hills to find the cave entrance. How wounded are you? Oh, or you're almost back to full, so we're taking both of you. It does not take... E it does not even take too long to find it. After half an hour or so, you come upon a patch of briars between several hills. And just like described by your scouts earlier on, hidden behind some bushes is a tunnel leading deep into the dark soil. Who knows what lurks in those depths? Wait for a while and see if anything happens. Try some sorcery to scry on your surroundings. We don't have magic sense or a deputy spell weaver. <laughs> we lost movement, but that's fine. We weren't going anywhere anyway. You and your companions hide behind the thorny bushes at sto a stone's throw from the entrance. Flies buzz at your ears, but apart from every that, everything is dead silent for some time. After a while, you begin to hear footsteps approaching from inside the cave. A dark elf emerges from the undergrowth. It is not Renkylon, and in fact, it is a woman wearing jet black armor. Before she exits the tunnel, she lifts her arms and recounts a short incantation. Ooh! As she does, glowing magical glyphs appear around her on the... E on the earthen wall of the entrance for a brief moment, and she steps through. You figure that she just deactivated the wards around the cavern while she pa passed the entrance. The dark wa elf woman takes a few steps inside, then, not realizing she is being watched, ascends a hill. You and your comis are upon her in a minute. Because you surprise her, subduing her is laughably easy, and anyway, you do not need her, as you have already heard the, the, heard the enchantment. While your companions tie her up, you repeat the words, and lo, the glyphs disappear again. It seems that the tunnel is to Everdark is now safe to enter. Cool. We have a prisoner. Although I'm guessing we didn't uh, take her with us. <laughs> Ever so carefully, you enter the cave and delve deeper into the darkness. Soon, the earthy tunnel gives way to a corridor hewn out of solid rock, while the ceiling being supported by wooden beams. Your company turns a corner and almost runs into two dark elves, a clad in uniform black armor. These must be sentries of the Verukai. They have not spotted you, so you order your comis to take them down. It happens quickly and without a sound. As soon as the guards are dealt with, you take a look around. It very much appears like this underground site is still under construction. Testament to that are the aforementioned wooden scaffolds, sign of freshly dug sections, unfinished masonry, and heaps of dirt lying here and there. In fact, the sheer size of these subterranean chambers suggests that the soil was not dug out and moved by physical labor alone. Sorcery must have been at work here. We must delve deeper. But not too greedily or too deep. <laughs> After creeping through the corridors for a bit longer, wondering how deep the tunnels go, the corridor widens and you come to a wide precipice. The cave underneath is large enough to house a small collection of hastily constructed dwellings, more tents than huts. A dozen or so scrawny surface dwellers toil among them, pushing carts and hacking away at the walls with pickaxes. The chains on their ankles leave no doubt about their status as slaves. A rickety ladder leads down into the grotto. Suddenly you hear alarmed shouts from all over the surrounding tunnels. Soon the outpost garrison will be upon you. For a brief moment, you think about the possibility that Renkylon walked into a trap here and was captured, perhaps even killed, and that you should abandon the mission. But there is no time to dwell on mere possibilities right now. You must act quickly. You descend the ladder leading to the slave pens, grab one of the involuntary laborers by shoulder, and demand that he tells you what he knows about the site. Where is my family? <laughs> Surprise the slave hems and haws. We have no dilly-dallying to be done here. 
You ask the dithering wretch whether he or his fellows have recently seen a dark elf with a half-concealed face that does not wear Veruca uniform. It takes a few moments for the slave to gather his wits. We we did, I believe, he stammers, looking for reassurance to his peers in vain. No, not too long ago, we went out towards where the masters keep the ergs. You ask him about these ergs, to which he replies, I'm not sure you know what ergs are. Big insects, right? The masters keep them as battle pets, and for work, the fact they're more efficient at di digging than us, so a lot of us end up as the torture dolls for the masters, children, or food for the ergs. The pen is right over there, right, right through that tunnel. The man points at an opening on the cave's other side. So that is where Renkylon supposedly went. As you are about to proceed, the slave grabs your arms. Please, he begs, th this torture, can you take us with you back to the surface? Several others crowd around you pleading. All the while, the angry screams of the approaching Verukai can be heard, closing the distance. We don't have enough Khan. Free the slaves and sell them to swarm out into the tunnels in the hopes of creating a diversion. Oh man, I was hoping to, I, I would, would like to just be like, get out of here, nerds. <laughs> You came here to f rescue Renkylon, leave them to their fate. Um, let's free them. Gorgoro is happy. Arvek doesn't care, I guess, so that's fine. It does not take long for you and your comies to break the slaves' chains, and you can already hear the shouts of approaching Verukai guards from the surrounding tunnels. The slaves keep thanking you, but you shout at them to be silent. There's no time to be time to wait. Shut up! They really want to break free, but they must... And if they really want to break free, they must do as you tell them. They nod and try their best to follow your orders. Followed by the liberated slaves, you duck into the tunnel that supposedly leads to the, leads to the erg pens. The corridor you enter is fairly straight. Following it, you soon spot a pale bluish light that gives you a heading. Disregarding any junctions, you head on to emerge in a spacious chamber divided by several subspaces by low bone fences. Within those confined nooks, you see numerous ergs. All of them have crystals embedded between their feelers. That is where the ghostly light was spreading from. But of course they have a shepherd too. A Verukai handler is also here, and upon seeing you enter, he immediately turns to attack you, some sending some of the tamed creatures forth. Com Holy God! They're enormous. Can we kill this guy and then they're like masterless? Oh man. Uh, I forget how I. There we go. I want Harvick at the back so he can leap forward with the with his mantis stab. All right. Do you have armor? You do. Okay. Bust the armor. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Harvick, jump forward and please hit this man for five. Very good. He's jumped forward. We've been bitten and we've been slashed twice. Oh, God. Stab him, please. All right. Throw and then back up and hide. Jesus, this guy is fast. We missed. The blade arms are brutal. Holy God. Harvick, please kill this dude. Oh. Yes! Now are they done? No, they're they're still here. We're we're so boned, team. Uh go for the worker. trouble oh we're in deep trouble we're gonna die for sure stabbed the worker in the face yeah and then we died <laughs> oh no the Verukai on their home turf, knowing exactly how to utilize the tunnels and chambers to their advantage. Soon you are subdued but not killed. That would be too kind. They take you and your Komi's prisoner and then lead you down into the depths of the Everdark to serve as torture dolls for the sadistic and aberrant offspring. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> well, that was a way to go. All right, well, good to know that the that is a tough, tough mission. We should probably have more companions then, if it's going to be that brutal of a, a combat. 
That man, that thing was dishing out like eight damage per attack. And maybe not. Um, I'm trying to think about what I was trying to say. Maybe not. We'll go back inside. Maybe not a a ton of companions because they did say we should keep like quiet, but at least maybe higher level companions, something like that. Who knows? All right, we could go to Arkin, defend or restock in Devon. I'm kind of thinking of going back to Devon then, and maybe trying to help out with the prince's other problem. <laughs> And uh, seeing if we can't help out with that. So let's take this one on. Oh, it's contraband, you buggers. It's obsidian blades. Oh, it's always obsidian blades. Well, hmm. In that case. Why don't we we'll take our we'll do our Arkin run and go back to Lumen and see if we can't help out Candig. So we have some obsidian. Can we buy some more obsidian to take with us to Arkin? We can. So we can buy it for six. And then what are they buying obsidian for in Arkin? Let's scroll down. They're buying it for six three which is not enough to actually make it worthwhile because we'd have to buy it for 6-6 six, six here. So maybe maybe we don't do that. Maybe my, my plan of always copying what the trading houses are doing is not always foolproof. We could do Bright Kelp. We could do... I'm trying to remember what the other thing was. Is it pottery they like there or is that a different place? Bright Kelp seems to be the best one so far. In fact, maybe the only one. Could do Mushroom Beer. More mushrooms. Pottery. Yep, it was pottery. Okay, why don't we just grab a stack of Mushroom Beer then? Because you can take 25. Or how much pottery can we do? 15. Let's do the Mushroom Beer. Why not? All right. Let's not sell any of our stuff, and then we'll head out back onto the road. We paid like three copper to go back into the city. Well, that was interesting. Our, our, we, we tangled with a foe that was too dangerous for us. All right, we'll pay them now. Fear not, Renkylon. We will, we will help you with our, your quest. But uh, we need some more. We need some more firepower. Dr losing a, our third companion. And having to fight with two again, uh, that was kind of rough. That was the whole reason I went to get a third companion in the first place, is that I was having a hard time fighting with just two guys. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Ah, uh, we're one away from Arkin. That's okay, we have so many supplies. We gotta see if we can get our vigor back up. Alright, enter the city. Ooh, we could do this one. Look for the monsters stalking the vicinity. We we got that a long time ago. But let's first sell our mushroom beer. Nice little profit. Turn in our House Aquo mission. Got plus 12 with them. That's nice. And then other faction things we could do. So we have stuff to take the Lumen. We could take stuff back to Torzeg. So just walk back and forth between the two. <laughs> we have a couple things that we could do just going back to Torzeg's. Defend for the loader skill. 105, we have 135. It's 12 sil silver for that. Silver? Okay, okay. We could go to Devon. We have a couple things to go to Devon. Actually, I really like that idea. How much do we have in space here? We have four. And we had two things, I think, that were... Yeah, this one is marble, and there was one other one, I think it was down at the bottom. And this one is also marble, so we could just take four stacks of marble to Devon and we'd get 28 silver for that, plus change, which is really nice. But before we do that, let's check out this Trail of the Beast, I'm curious. 
Walking through the dusty streets of Arkin, you come upon a town crier announcing various news of general interest, such as a current marble, uh, such as current marble prices and open job opportunities. One of these catches your ear. Let it be known that Herman the Herder is willing to grant a substantial reward to anyone brave enough to go after the vile beast haunting the outskirts of our fair city. The man can be found at his lodgings near the main gate. From what you can see, not a lot of folks are interested. Maybe here's a chance to line your purse. Go visit Herman and acquire about the job. <laughs> He's so happy looking! You find Herman the Herder sitting in front of his hut near the city gates just as advertised. All around him, various animal skins are displayed on racks, while behind his abode, vast pens containing various livestock stretch as far as the eye can see. He's a burly man with sunburnt skin. You tell him you're here about the job. He nods. Finally, someone... Let me give you the details. It all started about two months ago when my animals began to disappear. One or two falling prey to wasteland predators is no big deal in itself around here, but then it becomes r regular, three a week, four a week, you catch my drift. And then a fortnight ago, one of the boys tending the flock went missing. Then another one. It's quite obvious to me that there's some vicious monster at work here. One critter that's got itself some mighty appetite for easy prey. I've already complained to the town militia, but they won't do anything. They're more preoccupied with guarding those precious marble slabs of theirs. I wonder if you were inclined to help me. A dozen silver is all I can offer, gathered from a handful of locals who care. Dozen silver? Absolutely. I'm in. He nods gratefully. Thank you, Vagris. The last victim of the creature, whatever it might be, was a young boy herding some slayer ads. It happened about a day's walk from the northern city walls at an abandoned quarry just at the border of the Arcaros Forest. Maybe you should go there first to look for tracks and clues. Promise him to look for the site and leave. Aye, aye. Okay? Okay, it is literally like a day from here. So let's leave the city. Like, northeast-ish. We will go... Is this the old quarry? Is that real, or is that just something they put on the map? Camp. Oh! Oh, come on, you nerds! You you have half the strength I do! <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's defend our armed people. Actions? The... Makeshift barricade is always pretty useful. It increases a... Wow! We have like a 90-something percent chance to succeed. Great. And then shield wall? That makes it slightly more likely that we will fail for some reason. Instead, let us eliminate their leaders... And then we will fight. Alright, get our dudes out here. Renkylon, you go here. Gorgoro, you go there. Harvik, you go there. Begin fight. We've been fended. Go for the weakest dude. <laughs> this guy right in the middle seems like a good target. Two and one. Slingshot. We you suck. You don't suck as much. Harvik, get in there. And stab this man in the stomach for five. Very good. Ouch. He's retaliated. Alright, uh, Gorgoro, charge into the fray and pummel this man to death. I've been fended. Oh, it's because we moved. I forgot that that guy could do that. Alright. Ren Kylon, you're up front. Kill this dude. Please. Yes, he's dead. One down. Harvik, I want you to kick this Bone Lord to the back. You've been stabbed. Alright, no fending is happening this time, so switch with Ren Kylon and hit the 12, 14. Hit the spear guy for four. Good job. We've been bull rushed again. That guy just keeps bull rushing us. All right, uh, Ren Kylon, throw s some daggers at this dude for two. Not as good as I would have hoped. Jesus Christ, that guy sucks. <laughs> uh, kick this guy into the back so the that guy can't attack. Gorgoro, charge forward again. 
and swing at this dude. For five, he's on death's door. We've been bull rushed. We've been fended. And then stabbed. And then fended again. <laughs> this guy just never ends. Uh, throw caltrops at him. Ah, they're just chipping away at us. It sucks. All right, throw a dagger at this idiot so I can kill him, maybe. Yes, he's down. They're distributing the damage. Gorgoro, charge forward. I wish I could get you in front of Harvick, but it is what it is. Try to wipe out this... Uh, we've been critted for two. Okay. Ren Kylon, you come to the front here. And then Harvick, I guess... I will have you just hide behind Gorgoro for now. Dodged. Eat it. Ren Kylon, you have nothing to do? Are you stuck? I was hoping I could just have you, like... Wait to recover some stuff, but... Uh, take out the... The... the stupid guy. You, everybody's, like, on death's door. What is your debuff here? I'm not really sure why he... Oh, now he can do stuff. That was very weird. Okay. <coughs> Stab him. <laughs> Slingshot. They're really trying to take Renkylon out, for sure. He's just moving around like crazy. Alright, Harvick, jump forward. Stab this guy in the gut. And then Gorgoro, please finish him off. Yes, he's dead. He's missed me. And the battle continues. Somehow our companions stayed up that entire fight. And they're down for the count. But we've killed almost their entire squad. Uh, action. Does this help me in any way? It does not. So we will just pursue them. Yes, we killed them! We've actually killed an entire group of bandits! We, all it took was having twice their combat power. Alright, give our dudes time to heal. Gorgoro is healed a little. Did anybody die? Alright, Harvick's the only one who got wounded. We had 29 success. We got nothing for it. Other than lots of wounds. Let's see if we can't find this place. Are we in it? We're in the middle of it. Okay. So camp here. Use some heals. End day. Gogoro healed a little tiny bit. Now, go scouting. One, two, three, four. See if we can't find this thing we're supposed to find. One, two, three. It's four would take us... That would take us beyond what we could do. So just do the three. Aha! We found it. Move on. Oh, uh, no. We will camp here. End day. Gorgoro is healed again. The question is... Are we wound too wounded to, uh... It's your 771. <laughs> Alright, we're turning around, team. Uh, we're going back to Arkin. Yep, I know. What we're gonna do is we know that's where we need to go to save the boy. Or find this monster. I don't think there's a time limit on it. So we're gonna go back here. Oh, our mission to Devon has expired. Rats. Well, in that case, what we'll do instead is we'll take a mission to go to Tor's Eggs just to make some money. So we got we got this guy here. We've got this guy. And then defend the Loader's Guild? No, we don't really want to do that. Um, we'll take our stuff back to Tor's Egg Shelter. We've got just enough space for it all. And on the way, we'll just be trying to heal our dudes up, and then we'll we'll come back to Lumen next time 
and see if we can't take out that monster. And then maybe we'll head back over, or sorry, not to Lumen, we'll come back to Arkin, try and take out that monster, or at least figure out what's going on, and then we'll head over to, to Lumen after that and see if we can't uh, do the next step of Candix tail and then maybe long term when we get more companions or our companions are tougher then we can try try to uh take on ren kylon's mission that got us killed so if you enjoyed the episode if you enjoy me playing through vagris the riven realms give the video a like it helps out a lot if you want to see more videos want to see more vagris the riven realms subscribe to the channel you'll be able to see whenever these videos go live and that will help me out a lot as well but until next time everybody i hope you have a good one and i will see you on the flip side Bye bye